introduction hi friends how are you every day usually we see many things around us out of them some can move while some cannot do you know why this is so let's understand the reason behind this objectives at the end of this course you will be able to identify living and non-living things list the features of living and non-living things and differentiate between living and non-living things dear students actually we all are surrounded by two kinds of things living and non-living things all the animals and plants are examples of living things do you know how we can identify living things well all living things show movement it means that they frequently move from one place to another all living things also show growth in their body they eat food for their growth and living along with these features they also breathe they can feel and are sensitive to their surroundings they all have the ability to produce young ones of their own this is called reproduction hey friends now let's know about non living things they do not show the features of living things here are some examples of non living things you will be surprised to know that your father's bike is also a non living thing it can move only when it has petrol in it like living things all non living things do not show growth or reproduction here's a chart to show differences between living and non living things summary let's summarize what we have learned so far we all are surrounded by living and non living things all living things show movements and growth in them all living things intake food for their growth and energy all living things breathe they feel changes in their surroundings they also have the ability to produce young ones of their own non living things do not show the features of living things